Hello my soccer universe and welcome to this year's Bundesliga review. As usual, we're gonna do this now in four parts with 18 teams. This means we have two videos of five, two videos of four. And yeah, how do I decide uh, on the teams in this video? I do it with, like I always do now. I took last season standings, went one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and so on. Everyone next to one is in this video. Now, uh, before I get into the shirts, I have, have to say this year I am already quite satisfied because I could make an all Germany background. The Germany jerseys are up there, so I hope that next season I have enough uh, Bundesliga jerseys uh, to be able to make it fully all Bundesliga uh, jerseys back there. But you know, it's a pretty darn good start, I would say. Uh, I'm wearing Köln, who is the, I don't want to say the feature team, but one of the teams in this video. Actually, this is the video where I had the biggest selection of teams to choose from. I went, Köln is one of my favorite teams, maybe at the moment even the favorite, and I really love this jersey. So this is my favorite Bundesliga jersey. It's very near the top of uh, many of my jerseys that I have. Um, as for the order, I do it in my weird alphabetical way. So I, how do I call the teams and that's how I then sort them. Uh, so, I mean, it's not the uh, erste FC Köln that we start starting with because there's the one, no, uh, I say Bayern ahead of Bochum, ahead of uh, Gladbach, uh, Köln and Stuttgart. That's how we're going to look into it. So. First jersey of defending champions. It's rare that, that we start with the defending champions already in the, the first uh, jersey in the first video. And it's already quite, uh, to me, a controversial one. Um, I have to say, I think the last set of Bayern jerseys were actually all rather uh, nice and straightforward. Uh, and you know the new rule that Bayern I can only have been a red with a little bit of white. So we go two-tone red. However, this uh, chevron in dark red and then a lot of uh, lighter red stripes without a gradient in there, it doesn't do it for me. I have to say uh, it's a rather meek looking shirt, a weird looking shirt. Then uh, also, you know, the back doesn't uh, really also have this pattern, so it doesn't re re really fit. And what um, is to me almost the worst is that the chevron then goes against the sponsor who is just flat. Uh, doesn't look right. I have to say, in play, it looks okay, but it doesn't look quite Bayern to me. Uh, when Two Tone Red go this route that they have been uh, doing in 2015, 16, uh, but this one, nah, it's just not my style. And I'm gonna give this four stars. I even would think that instead of white stripes, if they would have done red stripes, I mean, go full out of this look, but you know. It is what it is. But I can be down on this one. The other two jerseys for Bayern are just marvelous, I have to say. Um, and here we look at the black away jersey. We had last season a really great third um, with also this lozenge pattern. I mean, it's black with a red lozenge pattern. Here we have the same thing in black. We have the Bavarian lozenge pattern in there. Uh, but you know, it's kind of a quarter look with these white dots. So it, it you get the lozenge pattern and it's a little bit of off-center quarter uh, in a way uh, with golden accents, which at first I would say I, I would cry foul. And you've seen me in my Liga Church as we're doing it. This is just following a trend, black with gold. No, actually in this case, it makes a whole lot of sense because on the back side, there's the little... Um, uh, um, a coat of arms from Munich and the Munich's city colors are yellow and black. So this jersey is actually a kind, kind of a tribute to their hometown of Munich. And then this makes a whole lot of sense. Okay, swap out the yellow for gold to get, get a little bit more, 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 more look. You have a little Bavaria in there and you get a really nice looking shirt. Uh, what in addition is that for this one, and this is uh, mostly because uh, it was at the time when they created it's not clear whether they will have uh, four or five stars on there, so they just uh, released it without the stars, which actually also looks quite nice. I have to say this is one of my favorite shirts in the Bundesliga this season, uh, looking really, really, really good, really classy, absolutely love this one. Um, I 
honestly have to say it for me this is a nine star jer uh, jersey it's that good and the third jersey is uh not worse um it has a bit more of a traditional buyer look it is white and then you have um uh, some red access and especially all over this print of an uh figurative alpine landscape with that you already have me i have to say munich is not anywhere near the alps yes you can from munich you can see the alps in the distance but it's a good hour drive until you are in the alps so uh the city of linz where i live is much closer to the alps than uh, munich is munich is actually a rather flat town so i just need to say this because i i very often hear the misconception yeah this is the alps that are next to munich Nah, it's not really next to me. munich is a rather flat town overall um however it is a reference uh, or a tribute to uh, the scenery that you have from Munich. And this is actually one of those postcard pictures where you actually have the cityscape and then you have the mountains in the background, which is rather, rather spectacular, I gotta say. Um, and, you know, Bavaria, although only the southern tip, southernmost tip of Bavaria is actually in the Alps, uh, it, it is famous for that one too. I absolutely love this. Uh, it is an abstract pattern, but it is mountains. Uh, it has the red. It has. Even, I, I even like that uh, they're using like this uh, dark blue and the kind of this grayish blue in there, uh, and and again the crest with only the um, without the stars. It's a pretty darn nice jersey. I also gonna give this nine stars. And I already said I just one of those I probably will need to get uh next year and i have not really decided which one yet i'm leaning black but the mountain jersey is also really 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 nice so talked a whole lot about bayern i think it is fair because the last two jerseys were just uh awesome um we go from all the way up we go all the way down to the bottom of the bundesliga uh table at least you know bochum is not a fa uh a, 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 a team that is a big favorite but they got recently promoted uh, it's actually nice to see them back uh, they got a Nike template with the pinstriping, which I per se don't think is a bad template. It just leaves way too much uh, room for sponsors. And then if you have only a one line sponsor, which in itself is not a bad thing, but it looks this whole gap here uh, bothers me. In addition, uh, I always feel Bochum should have more of a royal blue than this steel navy blue that they have here. Other than that, I really like this jersey overall. I think it's a very nice look. These are one of the nicer templates that Nike have this season. Yes, the weird uh, double fold over collar is a little bit, uh, yeah, uh, a, a bit for taste. But I actually think overall it looks all right. And I would give it maybe a six star. It's, it looks all right. It's not any anything exciting. And um, similarly goes for the away jersey, which takes the, uh, the same colors uh similar nike temp uh, nike template uh they just uh, slap a, a crest and a sponsor on there and you have your new bochum jersey again also not very exciting um but it's also not looking bad i actually think that this tan template looks not better than last season i think it's really only on the side of the stripe piece i'm gonna give this five where you again a little bit lose me but you know a third jersey is probably needed for bochum so they go with this teal color uh with black sponsors but then the crest is full, is the color that they have everywhere so this is a little bit uh jarring in a way the shirt itself is probably quite nice i mean that's probably the best temp template out there and i think that would be a nice Bochum jersey uh in itself um i think the sponsors should also have been in navy to be honest so therefore four stars for Bochum uh right there let's go to a, another powerhouse in germany which is of course borussia mönchengladbach or just gladbach as i used to uh, i typically call them uh puma went a little bit wacker with gladbach um this the shirt i mean it has a little bit classic gladbach but it's kind of a mixture between all periods the uh, crest is kind of a little bit 80s style the shoulders are a little bit 70s style the shirt cut is definitely more uh, recent. The sponsor, the X of the flat X is still in orange, uh, which is jarring. If this was in green, I think this would fit perfectly with the shirt. Um, the big uh, thing with this uh, look for Gladbach is that the shorts are in the same striping pattern as the shoulders, which I, 
that I find uh, was it hilarious, but it looks actually great. The shirt by itself, I'm actually fine with this shoulder yoke with this yellow and green. Finally, we have yellow, yellow and green back. I actually also like uh, the crest, although I prefer the crest like in this shirt. Um, uh, in uh, you know just the diamond and not have the green uh, square because I always think a square um, crest looks odd to me. It's just my per uh, my personal feeling. And uh, with the green square, it kind of it's a little bit lost, but it also adds some color. It's a shirt that I I go back and forth. I'm really bothered by the orange on there, and I will continue to be bothered with with that one because Gladbach, uh, yeah, their sponsors always can force their colors onto their shirts. I don't see the reason why this couldn't be green and look nice, and you know, for us uh, more aesthetically minded viewers. So uh, it's kind of a give and take. I'm leaning seven actually here, although it could have well gone six. But I think uh, I want to kind of reward a little bit outward looking uh, design. How about the away jersey? Uh, nah. The sponsor here is green. Okay, great. And, and, and you see how the stars over the Gladbach crest and the Puma and the X, that is nicely colored. So if that was on the home jersey, I think we will talk about a really good crest for the home home jersey. What I cannot get past is this khaki uh, jungle uh, hunting look, which, yeah, kind of related to Gladbach. I don't like those colors. I do not like those colors. And that's my biggest, mis my biggest misgiving with this one. And so uh, I'm sorry, I have to give this... Yeah, this is a four star. It's just, um, does, it doesn't look sit right with me. Um, and then the third jersey. Yeah, this is again Puma going wacko. We have seen it in France already. This is the template without the crest, or is it? No, there's the crest all over in the, in the print. And I have, have to say, if you have this diamond pen and it goes all over, it looks kind of, kind of weird. It almost looks like a Bavarian flag on, on there, which for a team from the Rhineland is really, really weird. Again, the flat X ruins this jersey. Uh, if the sponsor was just white and then you had the Borussia in green and then you have black, you had at least all the club colors in there. And I think this would actually look uh, semi-decent. Yes, there's a glaring hole with the crest. Now, I don't want to pan this jersey too much because there's already enough outrage over these. And I say, okay, this is a third jersey. Can we please not get so excited about it? I would maybe, uh, I think you would have a point if it's a home jersey. But for a third jersey, you can try different things. It looks cheap. It is not a, a great shirt and the colors are a little bit off. Again, without the sponsor, I actually think this might look good. Um, I personally, and I know that there is a little bit of a rivalry now between Dortmund and Gladbach. Um, Borussia can be, you know, there are two Borussia. So uh, kind of claiming yourself to be the one and only Borussia is maybe a little bit step too far, but maybe exactly what they uh, wanted to do. So, um, and I know that if you put Mönchengladbach Gladbach or Gladbach on there, it doesn't also sit right. Again, not overall. Uh, here is something missing, and for that reason, three stars. Okay, we are moving on to the big rivals of Gladbach, which is of course Köln. One of my very favorite teams, Ulsport, is supplying Köln this time around. And I gotta say, um, these are interesting and nice Cone jerseys. I mean, when this came out, I said this is probably the best Cone jersey that I will ever see because I really like there's a little bit more red in there. Um, but having here this white shirt with the um, double lines cross, uh, um, the double horizontal lines is actually making it really nice and like compartmentalizes it nicely. You have on top, you house the manufacturer logo with Ulfburt and the um Köln crest then you go on below there's the sponsor and then you have a little bit more space and it kind of it looks kind of really really nice um of course the sleeve sponsor but this is also on this one the devk uh, one is a little bit off but you know so be it uh it is a sleeve sponsor um and yeah i have been just with gladbach it, it ruined but you know here it's a sleeve sponsor it, 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 it doesn't play as big into it in my opinion um, is it exciting? No, but I, I also think um, this one I like a whole lot better than uh, better than, for instance, the Bochum jersey because uh, the sponsor has its room, but it, it doesn't feel like there's this a huge gap in there. For that reason, I'm going seven here. Um, the away jersey um, is similar to the Köln away jersey that I have with a red with white sleeves, so kind of the Arsenal look. 
with a weird pattern in there that I probably should have googled what this is. I mean, it uh, it's repeated. It's kind of a, a little bit of a floral pattern. I'm sure it has some relationship to, to, to the city of Köln because Ulfport is really good with that. Um, I have to say, I really like this away look. Uh, probably better than even than the home jersey. Uh, a very, really, really, really strong look. I'm going to give this eight stars. And then, uh, that might be controversial now, uh, we have a blackout third jersey. Or is it blackout? If you have red and white cuffs and also collar. And this is what actually makes this shirt look a little bit better to me. Now, I would love it if the crest was also not blackout. Uh, but I have to say, this with a little bit color accents looks stronger than the pure blackout kit that, for instance, Dortmund had. My personal opinion. I think Kern also has a winner here. Um, again, the lack of crest is similar to Gladbach, but here at least it's all missing. Uh, that the Rewe sponsor is kind of uh, shimmering there is maybe also a little bit contagious. So that's the thing that you really see. But I've seen those in game and they look really, really nice. So I'm also going to give this eight stars. Kern has an overall pretty strong look. This leaves us with my last, uh, with the last team, which is also one of my favorites, is Stuttgart. And Jako has done an amazing job for Stuttgart. However, I think here they pushed it a little bit too far. First of all, these are warm with black shorts, which to me is not a Stuttgart look. Uh, positives first. I actually like that they took the Mercedes star above the, uh, so slightly above the center stripe or the chest band. Which is a classic Stuttgart look. Um, I remember in the 80s they had this Südmilch sponsor where there was this uh, square that was sitting slightly above the chest band. So while it might not look aesthetically pleasing, um, it is kind of what you would expect from a Stuttgart shirt. So I actually find this all right. But all these black accents are this off center a little bit. And then look how the Mercedes star, the Jako, and the Stuttgart crest sit. It feels like Although they are, the Jako and Stuttgart crest are probably centered, take the star away, on the same line, I think you should have centered it with the star, so move the Jako logo a little bit up, in my opinion, uh, would make a better be uh, a better look. Now, with red and black is accents on white, uh, of course, these are some of my fa favorite colors, but it just doesn't quite sit right with me. It is a, a kind of a weird look. For that reason, five stars. Um, much better, although also weird, is the away jersey. I actually like it that they're red and then have a black chest band, uh, which actually fits also nice with the whole sponsor there. But this dot pattern all over? That is something that I don't know. Uh, I'm not so... It, it actually, I know this is all purpose there and it looks kind of interesting, but it kind of lose me there as well. And so, yeah. Better than a home, home, home jersey, but I'm going to give the six stars. And then, but the third jersey, at least that one, I can praise because it has kind of a classic Stuttgart look. I like how the band is outlined with a white stripe. And then you have, uh, yeah, it should probably be a black jersey. It's more of a gray jer uh, jer jersey, which I think if this was pure black, I actually would like it a little, a little bit more. So you have a little bit of a, I don't want to say camouflage, but there's, it, it's kind of a rock uh, patterning on there. But everything else pops really, really nicely. I have, I have to say this is almost a winner and I'm going to give this eight stars. Pretty long video to start out, but you know, uh, there were many interesting shirts in there. In any case, I really would like what you thought about the jerseys in this uh, review. Uh, which ones did you like? Which ones did you dislike? And of course, where do you agree and disagree with me? Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit that little bell icon so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!